Hello my loves and thank you so much for being here today. Before we get started I would like to shout out another channel that I have really been loving lately. This channel is Charlotta Sophia and it is of course run by the lovely Charlotta. If you do not know Charlotta then you need to. This is primarily an art channel and Charlotta indulges in all things artsy. She does many art projects. She actually teaches art to young children and I really enjoy, for all the other moms out there, doing a lot of her projects with my two-year-old. I'm sure you will enjoy indulging in a lot of her projects with your young children just as much as I do. She also paints and she does live streams where you can paint with her, chat with her, but she also breaks painting down into a way that is very relatable. So whether you're a beginner or a more advanced artist, I know that you will enjoy Charlotta's channel just as much as I do. Also, Charlotta is just so lovely. She brings so much light to the world. She brings a smile to my face every single time, and she really is just such a positive and uplifting presence. Please check her out, let her know that Mental Health Mom sent you, and enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning! Everybody say good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. We've already seen Miss Callista this morning. I'm still not in labor, I'm still pregnant. Where did Callista go? Hey yo, hey we won. Precious. I love your receding hairline. Dada, that's a good look for you. Pink baby, pink bottle, pink burping yeah. claw. <laughs> Wish that I could stay in this moment for so I can hold you in my arms I will carry you on my shoulders As long as I'm able Scatter monsters under your bed Adelaide and Callista are technically the same age because they were conceived around the same time. Had the same due date, but Callista chose to arrive a month early. And Adelaide is choosing to arrive like two weeks late. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Look, Jenny. Come on, honey. No matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside.
right, so it is Saturday, July 18th, and I'm still pregnant. So that means that I am officially 40 weeks and six days pregnant. Here's my lovely sister-in-law who had her baby a month ago. We had the same due date. We're at the beach. I thought that if I went out of town, I'd probably go into labor. I'm willing to try anything at this point. My friend actually suggested that I do acupuncture. So I, look up, I looked up an acupuncturist in the area who was actually open today, but he didn't call me back. So I don't know, we're just waiting it out at this point. But we're enjoying the beach. It's a perfect day. It's actually not e even that hot. It's nice and breezy and cool, which is really impressive for Florida. And the water is perfect. It's actually kind of warm. It's nice. But I'm so tired. I like can't even keep my eyes open out here. My feet look like when you blow up one of those hospital gloves, like and turn it into a balloon. That's what my feet look like. So bad. It's really uncomfortable too. <laughs> I feel like my feet are gonna explode when I walk. All right, so my mom is down by the pool with Tenny, Caden, and Keller, and Holly's in here uh, feeding Callista with Jeremy. I'm about to get a shower. Um, I had to come in because I was having contractions and I was just feeling really tired. And um, my feet, of course, I need to put those up. They were swelling really bad. I also have some exciting news, so um, I actually found an acupuncturist that was willing to open up the clinic today whenever I asked him. He wasn't going to be in the office, but um, he returned my call. He said, you know, I'm actually willing to come to Fernandina today and open up the office for you. You know, I consider this an, um, an essential, so I am more than willing to help you and come and open the office and fit you in. I was like, wow, that's amazing. So I'm gonna give it a try. One of my friends said that she tried it and she had an acupuncture at four and then contractions started. <clears throat> then contractions started around 11 and she was in active labor from that point on. So it can't hurt at this point. We're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna take a shower. I meant to say I've been having a lot of contractions today and um, it could just be because it's really hot outside and I'm on the beach and all that good stuff and it's really easy to get dehydrated but my symptoms so far today are contractions, the swollen feet and ankles and um, a new one, um, I'm sorry for the TMI here but I'm trying to help out other people who are having babies. Um, my nipples are like stinging today, like really stinging. That's a new symptom. So who knows what that means exactly. <laughs> we are on the way to get my acupuncture done. Daddy's with me. He's my chauffeur at the moment. I took him away from his race. I'm very sorry, Daddy. It's okay. There'll be other races. <laughs> Looking forward to Miss Adelaide. Yeah, he's he's willing to participate so that we can get her out. <laughs> I need another girl. He needs another girl. He's like overwhelmed with girls at the moment. Um, well, not everybody has Papa's girls. <laughs> so yeah, we're headed there, and Daddy gets to see me get stuck with needles. Yay! <laughs> The ones in between my pointer finger and thumb. There she is. All wired up. I don't know if she's cooking Adelaide or she's tickling her. She's moving around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just got back from acupuncture. I had like four really strong, consistent contractions just while I was having the acupuncture. It was not bad at all. Like, it really was not. And I've had really strong contractions since I left as well. Like, I'm having one right now. And, uh, he recommended actually that I come one more time before my daughter's appointment. My daughter's appointment, or my midwife appointment is on Tuesday. He recommended that I come in on Monday and he'll dial it up a bit. He didn't want to start out at too much of an intensity. If I don't go into labor tonight, then I'll definitely do that on Monday if I can get childcare worked out for Tenny because clearly it Clearly, it, it jump starts my contractions and makes them more rhythmic at least, rather than sporadic. They were very sporadic before, and once he started doing the acupuncture, they were very consistent. Like, I had four to five contractions over the 45 minutes, and they were like equally spaced apart. Funny story, so the practitioner asked us to wear masks into the building, and dad went with me and dad says well i didn't i don't have a mask i didn't bring one i was like oh well, i have an extra one that they gave me at the hospital so and it's unused so you can just use that one and dad's like okay and so anyway i put my regular mask on that i always use and i give him that other mask that was in my car and he puts it on and he says this smells like a gym sock Give me a daggum mask to wear, like she run through it, come out of a gym, like a gym sock. I'm supposed to be trying to breathe through something that smells like a jock strap. <laughs> so my dad wants to talk about how tough he is, but we're in there, and I am 40 weeks and six days pregnant, and I have a dozen needles stuck in me while I'm laying on a table and can't take a full breath because I'm laying on my back. And he's complaining because he says he's breathing through a gym sock. <laughs> Was it that bad? What do you think? <laughs> to breathe think dirty we... gym sock yeah. for over an hour. I think I put that mask in there. <laughs> See? That's not what somebody's going to do. I'm telling you, somebody used that mask. All right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> That was our day. I'm having some consistent contractions. Tinny is sleeping. Um, Holly is rocking her month old baby. All right. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.